Hey y'all, hope y'all are doing well, okay? So let's go through um, the triangle sum theorem, okay? What the triangle sum theorem says is that the sum of the measures of the interior angles, remember interior, this one, and the side. Now the measurements of the angles inside of a triangle are always going to equal 180 degrees, okay? So like for example, right here, 85 plus 70 plus 85 plus 75 plus 20 equals 180 degrees, okay? What about here? 60 plus 60 plus 60, 180 degrees, okay? Then over here, 35 plus 115 plus 30 equals 180 degrees, okay? So again, the measurements of all the angles inside of a triangle must add up to equal 180 degrees. So let's do some examples, all right? Because we're going to solve for the unknown, right? Remember, this one will equal our variable. Our variable is our unknown. Now, so over here we have triangle. Uh, we have a triangle, and the angle measurements are 37, 106, okay? And then we have K. So we have 37 plus 106 plus a missing variable, K. And what is it always going to equal? What does the angle measurements of the triangle always add up to? 180 degrees. Now, what I can do is add up these two numbers, our constants. So 37 plus 106 will equal 143 plus K. Because remember, K, I don't know what that is yet, right? So that's going to be K. I'm going to leave my K right there. Okay. So 143 plus K will equal 180 degrees. So that's saying, now we're trying to find this missing angle. All right, so how do I solve for that missing angle? Well, I need to get this 143 out of here, so I need to make it zero before I can move it to the other side. How do I do that? Well, I subtract 143 from both sides. Okay, so now we're left with K equals 180 minus 143 will give you 37. 37 degrees. So K equals 37 degrees. All right. Now over here, we have an angle with well, one number. This, and remember, what does this little box in a corner for an angle measurement mean? Okay. Right here, this means it's a right. So remember, that little box means that it's a right angle, and a right angle will always equal 90 degrees, okay? So now we have, we're looking for V, so so far we have 59 plus 90 from that right angle, okay, plus V equals 180 degrees, okay? So 59 plus 90 will equal what? 59 plus 90 will equal 149. Now, I'm looking for V, okay? So I'm looking for V, right? Okay, so I have 149 because I added up 59 and 90, and now I'm looking for V. Again, what do I do? Same thing I did over here. I just subtract 149 from both sides. So that equals zero. That is one. 49. So let's see. We have V equals 180 minus 149 will give you 31. 31 degrees. So V will equal 31. Now, what about down here, question three? So we don't really have any constants except this 40. Remember that. That 40, nothing's happening to it so far. But we have x plus 3x plus x plus 40, 
And again, what is the sum of all interior angles always must always equal? 180. So 180 is going to equal whatever is inside here. How, what do we see? What well, we see an x. Okay, so we have an x plus a 3x plus an x plus 40. Okay? So, let's see. Now, I want to combine all of these x's together. Now, x plus 3x, well, 1x plus 3 would equal 4. So, 4x plus another x would equal 5x plus 40. All right, and we'll set that back equal to 180. Now, I want to solve for x, but I have two things in the way. I have to get rid of this 5 and this 40. Okay? So, let's go ahead and get rid of our constant first. Remember, our constant is this 40, so minus 40. Okay? So, we're going to subtract 40 from both sides. So, now we're left with 0 over here, because 40 minus 40 is going to give you 0. 180 minus 40 is leaving you with 140. Okay, so now I have 140 equals 5x's, okay? So uh, let's go get through this problem real quick. 140 equals 5x. How do I get rid of that x? Well, I need to divide both sides by 5. Okay, now 140 divided by 5 will leave you with 28. Okay, so your answer is x equals 28, okay? So again, message me with any questions you might have, and I'll see y'all later. Okay, guys? Take care.